Okay, so we're back. How soulless she looks. All I'm saying. Three, two, one, cheers. Uh, went and looked at some of the trophies. It looks like we missed one. But if I'm not mistaken, uh, the trophies so far have been like you can get the vast majority of them in any given uh, single playthrough, but in order to collect them all, you have to play it multiple times, at least twice, if I'm not mistaken. Because um, I think some of them are like, let this person live or let this person live, I think. Because uh, it looks like I've missed one so far. Because I'm assuming they kind of go in chronological okay. order, that they kind of right skip if you miss them. Excuse me. Hey, you're getting better at this. That's super Seems colorful. As good an artist as ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I don't. I have any talent. <laughs> I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. Like how you keep shooting people in the face? There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh yeah. There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, um. monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes. Right as you kill them, like you did to Abel. His his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad That's guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. Outrageously perceptive for a child of this age. I think there's something wrong with me. You're way too little to see so much death, AJ. So much violence. No, I'm big enough. No, I know nobody's I'm ever big enough. I think of this stuff now. I care about what I do more. I'm getting real smart. You're not, though. Is that right? What's gonna suck is that Clem's gonna give her life to save because AJ by the end of episode four, and okay. it won't be because of anything I did. Right now. <laughs> God knows it won't be my fault. You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Much yeah. like Lee. The older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. Well, first, it would suck, like, big time. And then, I'd have to nom nom eat you, little boy. <laughs> ah, he's trying to have a serious big boy moment. AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll shoot. No, no, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm nice. not gonna shoot you. Stab me, whatever. It's all if fine. Bit, I'd want you to bite me too. Wow. I mean, I'm what? me personally. I'm okay with that. Alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., if you have a gun, you shoot me. If you don't, you use your knife. No knife, a rock to the head as many times as you have to. I said I don't want to. I don't care what you said. You will do it. I don't care what you say. God damn it, AJ. <sighs> you can't break promises, AJ. They're really all you have left in this world. Letting this go, are you? James said, <sighs> guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. That's really sad. We might it's even something okay. generally only kids would do. You think so? I don't. Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, 
We're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Yes. Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. Fucking kids, man. I think that door warped What's through her. Nah, don't worry about it. He just needs some space. So I'm gonna shoot another one of your comrades. Can we talk about what happened today? With Minnie? Yeah, yeah that was sure. the whole fucking thing. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way yeah, that she woman sounded, sounded defeated. Acted. The way she talked about Sophie and Lily. I'm, I'm confused, I guess. I don't... This is the best answer I have for this. You know you can't trust her, right? She's been with those people for over a year. It sucks, but I don't know what else I expected. Minnie? The real Minnie. She's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ. Or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Oh, I, I, I hope so. Yeah, because otherwise he's gonna fucking die. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. <laughs> so much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, Look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. But then I realized under all that, he... He really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it. He says it. I'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Well, that's, if we could avoid that, that would be great. A song with your name in it. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis Omar Asim. I mean, we'll she's only caring about Louis, but that's fine. We'll get the rest of the Scrub Lords back. Um, I made you this. Hey. It looks like a pin? Oh, a button. I mean, same thing. A Clementine? Really? That's funny. It's like a name badge. It'll look good on your jacket. It kind of matches our buttons, actually. I like that. That's pretty cool. We're not gonna bang, because I'm gonna go hey, bang James. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> wow, where did you find a beach ball? And how is it still inflated? The door. I had to blow it up, and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. <laughs> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. Yes, take the little one with you. It has the energy to burn, apparently. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> Back. Do I have to? Think fast. Ouch. <laughs> then think fast enough, a zombie just kills you. Aww. I love you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. Okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Everybody's okay. gonna die. That's exactly how it should be. Take the pencil in case you need to stab somebody with it. Nice. I'm sure everybody's gonna get out okay. I'm waiting, I'm expecting a number two to pop up right about now. Right about now. Looks right like about now. Uh, we still need to figure out lighting, music, and... this bottle did not sound and... super loud. Something to write on that banner. Oh, lighting, Looking music, and writing. Should have some fun first. Absolutely. Music? But Lewis isn't here. Uh, plan a sweet party. It's like Lewis Fuck it, let's start with the music. The you can't have a good party if you don't have good like tunes. Ram them up out. Fuck. It should do. Oh, Just tell me Jesus. What you want to to. Wouldn't happen to have any good jazz records, would you? Oh, yeah. 
the old music teacher was a big fan. Country wouldn't have been mad either for what we're doing here, but jazz seems like it would be a little more upbeat. Jazz sound like? You're about to find out, kiddo. That one's hard to describe. Just wait till you hear it. Okay. So you take one of those black things that look like plates and you put it on here. And then it plays music? Let's be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Rim gets natural moonlight, so something to compliment that, maybe? Hmm. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. It was. <laughs> really? I like purple. I like Fuck purple. you. Shouldn't you like Didn't it have too? blue. Violet. Nice. I'll make it happen. I like Ruby. Uh, choose banner. Using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, I don't know what exactly. I'm looking at. It's meant to be more motivational. I keep it short though. There's not as much room as you think. <laughs> I was thinking something uplifting. <laughs> oh, these are both fucking terrible. Uh, just we're just gonna grab this. To instill some confidence, you know. I guess. Straight and to the point. We're getting them back. Yeah, we sure are. We're okay. all gonna die. Ten, break out his paintbrush and ride it out. This place is gonna look great. It's not though. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Oh god, he's gonna try to fucking kill me. I'm gonna just leave you here to look at the gramophone, and you do... See? Nice. Like, I didn't have to walk up here and do whatever. What the hey, fuck Clint, are you doing? Check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait. What are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. You blow up the ship. Hurting anyone else ever again. I'm Let's listening. Blow up the boat. Hell yeah. The I'm all fucking for it. Back. Uh, is it me or is there a bit of a bomb obsession at this school? Well, what's not nah, you? That's fine. He totally is. But for good reason. The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the tricky part. Trust me. This will work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody. Get ready to boogie. I'm gonna go boogie first, Ten. and then we'll blow shit up. Clem, I'm sorry for before. About how he treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. I'm that's not the nice one you should way. be apologizing Don't to, kiddo. Tell, tell Ten. Gotta give him credit for fucking, like, delving into the books, you know? I fucking hate him. So much. He's dancing like a fucking robot monkey. Hi, Rosie. Kids are quick to forgive. I'll say that much. Wow. This looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. I'm glad I gave you all the ideas. Just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. Oh, God. I do I, do I, I have to mingle? mingle? I can go for some Pringles. I see you two are working together. Yeah. Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's Masturbation. Good is it ready? Good to go, Clem. What It'll is work. that? Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. The bomb? Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. I mean... All the best bombs have names. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but... I yeah. kind of am, but Let's at the same time... Fucker. Yeah, exactly. Let's name this fucker. Oh. For, uh, I was going to say Ruby's Revenge, but for him. Mitch's masterpiece. Yeah. I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. Yeah, because Mitch is dead. So. <laughs> <laughs> I found them. Oh, 
Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Ericsson psych evaluations and probationary this reports. This is going okay. to be incredibly Time funny or well, incredibly awkward. Explain why all Three, two, one, cheers. School in the first place. And all the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, might as well know who we really are. I really like Ruby. I didn't so, at first, but I really like Ruby. What the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This will be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. I would assume it's Marlin. Well, not to speak ill of the dead, but that sounds exactly like Marlin. You'd think so, but nope. Yeah. Really? The person in the file. <laughs> Imagine Marlin times another Marlin. That's Ruby's file. <laughs> Holy shit, really? Guilty as charged. Yeah, that was weird because yeah, that was kind of my first thought Ruby too. Back in the early days. Yeah, she, she was like fucking a, crazy, you know? You ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons when you were a kid? <laughs> that was our Ruby. We used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. The <laughs> first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> I said I was sorry. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Well, oh, you're ruining the game. No. Chronic masturbation. Yes. <laughs> Trust me. Nobody wanted to know. That. He's so proud of it, too. Why would anybody send you there for chronic masturbation? Uh, That's not a real thing. Dare. God damn it, Ted. Uh, anyway. Conversation for another day. No, fuck that. I want to learn more about you guys. There's a lot of them. No, it's all right. People seem to like this. Good enough for me. Let's just move on then. Yeah, because all it was going to be is me changing the music and then it fucking back to this. So, like, fuck off. If it asks again, we'll change it to country. I didn't realize how many of us we've lost. Oh, that's more bad. And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Erin. Oh. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Well, there goes that atmosphere. Whose is it? Lewis. Should we read it? Oh, I absolutely. I here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all. The person you are right now is all that matters to me. Whatever bad things you did in the past, that's not you anymore. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Have we not actually Don't told him about his sister being alive? Who would have known her? He liked that one. You could just sing it to us, like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Okay. Okay, yeah. Alright, I, uh... I can do that. We should probably stop the jazz, though. I want it to be like... You know? We're not banging, but we can be... We can be buddies. Bells hit out, girl.
beyond the dark comes something new. The sun will be rising soon. The sun will be rising soon. The sun will be rising soon. Brava. Very nicely done. Though I'm curious what the box number meant. It was like CF13 or something like that. Oh my god. Please don't set the place on fire, dumbass. Ooh. But there's two more acts to go. We haven't finished Act 2 yet, and there's an Act 3, uh, according to the trophies at least. Nightlight? I don't know. Don't know what that one means. I was like, the fuck is happening? What's moving so quickly? Back when this shit still ran. All those years ago. Oh, Lee. Hey, sweet pea. Lee? Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? depending on me and I don't know if what I'm doing is right oh I know that feeling you know I was uh, making it all up as I went along right I apologize if you hear the police all, sirens in the background you know you being so little I never noticed it just felt like you always knew the right thing to do yeah well I got lucky luck counts for a lot I need to, after this, go back and play season one for the channel. You want to tell me about what you're up against? Just as homage to the game, you know? And I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. But Clementine, I know, is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them. Alive. That's right. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Those boys are gonna have hope again knowing that you came to rescue them. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again, when you've gotten them out, okay? Out, and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. If you know of any. 
Lee. I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. And I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask, how's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it. He'd be hard, too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's changed completely. <laughs> oh my god, Lee. AJ's trouble sometimes. He wouldn't believe it. And he has no idea. He's growing up too fast. <laughs> Sounds like someone else I know. moving, Lee. But I'm tired of running. I... I have a home now. Then you're off the hook. A home is better than I could have ever hoped for. Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. 